right everybody I'm going to show you in this video how to create a bootable flash drive with Windows operating system on it you can install Windows on any computer with the flash drive in your browser and I'll put the link to each of these sites below this video and let's start out with uh, Rufus the fastest cleanest easiest way to do it and it's free click on the top link like I said I'll put the link to this below in the video below this video this is what it looks like and this is their own site right here right here is where you want to click this is the newest latest version here's a portable one if you want to take it to another computer you just simply click the download and I'm running Firefox so I gotta click here Google Chrome it'll be down here and it's just an executable file so it's already downloaded I could click here and find it in my downloads but I already have it on my desktop just to show you how easy it was to download and for everybody that downloads ISO files from the torrent site man just this here is just awesome right here get into pc.com I'll put the link for this below and software categories galore I mean all kinds some of them are free some are paid for but operating systems every one of them free there's even rescue discs as you can see Windows 10 the new redstone they got out Windows 7 ultimate let's type in Windows 7 they have every version of Windows 10 in fact they just I just someone built this one and I have it it works great but it's too big to put on a disk you can do it on a flash drive Windows 7 8.1 and 10 all in one of each 32 and 64 bit 70 in one is almost six gigabytes here's a Windows 7 starter free the ultimate Windows 7 all-in-one I have that on a disk it fits I love it works great anybody has a Dell there's Dell um, Windows XP every version of Windows XP including black edition Vienna edition and the black and blue edition it's they're awesome with all the SATA drivers installed already here's how you do it I'll go for something small here you just simply click on the picture of the one you want you can read all about it everything that is there's the start it's just a starters edition but it shows you pictures of how it looks and what you go through to install it and, and below every single one of these at the bottom they have the download button now this site here they have their own Linux server standalone setup for Windows 7 starter free download alright you just simply click on the download button you'll have your executable file see a Linux cloud server and man it's awesome you can during your download you can you can go about your merry old way and, and, and browse the internet here again I'm gonna click save I'm running Firefox so it's went up here let's see now that's only Windows 7 starter but as you can see it's only 27 minutes remaining 2.5 gigabytes all right, I'm going to cancel that. But that way you can avoid using a uTorrent or BitTorrent or transmission or anything like that. All right, now here's what Rufus looks like when you download it, and I have Windows XP Black Edition. It's just an executable file. There's no installing involved. It's you just click, you just download it and run it now I've already had black edition installed there that's why it's it's remembering the last label and by the way this I think by default it's set for fat by default well this is so easy to use so user friendly that that will change to NTFS it'll recognize what I'm trying to burn leave everything the same you can do you can try it out different ways if you want but create a boot, bootable disk using not free DOS you want to use an ISO image 
and this is my desktop right here and I was already here once so I went there again Windows XP black edition I only chose that because it's small and I got a real cheap little four gigabyte flash drive in my computer right now it already recognized it ready and see it already changed to NTFS on its own simply click start it gives you one last warning telling you everything on your flash drive will be deleted click OK and here is a little clock that will tell us how long it took I think it took like five to ten minutes I can't remember but man it really goes fast I mean for a flash drive alright I'll be back I just wanted to show you what it looks like we're uh, 59 seconds there's one minute on the timer show you how fast it goes now remember this is just a real cheap little sand disk 4 gigabyte flash drive alright I'll be back okay not too bad as you can see here it took 8 minutes and 12 seconds alright as simple as that as soon as it says ready you just simply close it it is done let's go take a look at it 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 already it labeled it on its own notice it's Windows XP times 86 for 32 bit BE for black edition and there it all is okay I don't think I have to tell you how to boot from a flash drive obviously you already know okay I'll put the link to both them websites below this video thank you very much for watching and please subscribe please